Hello YouTube, Andy, Camreax, finally back from Korea. Hi, thank you for uh, the well wishes and the patience. If you were waiting, I don't know if you were waiting, but here I'm back. I am i didn't really keep up with K-pop while I was away. Uh, for those that don't know who I am uh, I, or haven't been following my channel much, I, I had a... My second child was born in September. We took a um an extended leave to spend some time in korea which is um where my in-laws live my wife's side of the family uh, they all live there she's the only one here so it, it, I, we thought it was a good opportunity to to opportunity to spend some time with them uh, while having some time off from work together And it was uh it was it was a mm, it was nice. It it's nice to not work. <laughs> I haven't taken that much time off since I started working before. So I, it was it was a very, really different experience, but I, I and I honestly it may not ever happen again until I either quit working or um maybe like intentionally take time off so it, it, we enjoyed it um so while i was in korea i did not consume much media too busy watching the baby babies i have a i have a uh, he's almost four now so i have a four-year-old and a under four month old or about she's four months now so i have a it, it's 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 busy it's time consuming but it's it's also a great time in my life where funny i never really liked kids until i had my own kids so uh yeah enough about me it's time for Enmix. um i haven't listened to Enmix for a while i haven't i actually missed their last comeback i believe which i don't remember the title of uh but uh, Enmix is kind of a mixed bag for me but i i see the potential and i'm rooting for them but i, I, I their music just hasn't been grabbing me uh If, if for the people that have followed my channel for a long time, uh, one of Enmix's songs is um, forever remembered in my books as the lowest rated score <laughs> rated song in my channel. Not that's a bragging thing to do, but it just, you know, the, 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 the concept that Enmix was going for, um, at least from the start, was, was not what I was expecting. What I'm used to, maybe too old, maybe I don't know. Um, been following Korean music for a long time, and not all Korean music get grabs me either, right? There's a lot of K-pop that I really enjoy, and there's definitely um, a big section of K-pop that is harder for me to enjoy than others. So now that I've dragged my feet on this, um, <clears throat> it's time to watch uh, N Mix's Sonar. Ooh, there's a accent on the end but i'm not sure what that means in terms of sonar uh, I have <laughs> it says breaker after that um i'm gonna go in the order of the songs that were released in this uh album uh dash is not very old and i'm wondering if that's the title track maybe i'm too soon on this but i've been hearing my community say some good things about mx's latest comeback and I'm I'm very very intrigued, and I really like Enmix. Like, I think this is not controversial. I think this is probably a lot of people probably some say something similar. I think Lily is an incredible talent vocally in Enmix, and to me she steals the show. And I kind of called her the hard carry for a while for Enmix. She carries Enmix on her back. It's not that saying the others are not that great, but Lily's voice is so it's such a contrast from the rest of K-pop that um that it, it she she differentiates the and mix with the rest of K-pop. I, I don't know. It's been a while. I don't remember their names very well, so if I can't and you know what actually, I only I do know there's a Bay, I don't know there's a Lily, I know there's a Sarjun, I know there's a Kyujin? Amangne? 
There's two more. You know what? And mix profile. <clears throat> Might as well review. Hey one, ah, I'm sorry. Hey one's actually a really, really amazingly talented gal as well. There's hair one. There's Lily. This comeback looks really classy. If this is the concept they're going for, Sol Yun, Pe, Chiu, and Eugene. And Ginny left, as I remember. Chiu. Chiu is the girl I couldn't remember the name of. Where'd you go? Chiu. Okay. Sonar. Let's get going. Oh. Technical difficulties. Hold on. Sorry about that. The all important headphones I did not have on. Sonar. I wasn't expecting that beat <laughs> from the start of the song. The kind of a tropic feel. I got like a sudden feeling of like lightning. Lily's voice though. What the hell is going on? My brain can't. It's... I needed to ease myself into K pop, and this is not his logo uh, it's already been three minutes i don't small brain can't comprehend um <laughs> i feel like it's a contrast to my typical trend but i actually like this song I feel like this type of song is not does not check the list of things I like in K-pop songs, but this start does not hint at the tropical beat style. Blood type, Kung Sangadu, can our life? So 
change up they call out their change ups i remember they did that before i i need to know what this means dream okay in what language spanish it sounded spanish it's a dream breaker so this dreamy part they go into this peak Blonde. Look. I like it. I like it. I don't wanna feel it. Don't you wanna feel it, baby? That's a cute, cute smile look moment. I'm not in 4K, I'm very upset. I got goosebumps like again on that spot. I actually like Endix's brand of rap. It's actually very Endix. You know it's them. Jiu and Jiu. Like it? Like it? Like it? Like it? There's a whale, guys. I'm just catching this. There are whales in this dream. Like, it's kind of funny. This part of the song is like, they're be original. And you like this, but. I don't know. I, I'm not catching. I'm very bad with symbolism and understanding what the meaning of certain symbolisms are. And this one is no different. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, it's the chorus I'm not sure about this dance. It's a little... Change up. I'm trying to figure out why I like Eugene and Hugh's lap style on this song.
Chloe keeps giving me those sparks. I don't know why I like that part. Okay. Okay. I am confused as to why I like this song. Here. Looking for a good freeze point because I like to not pause while there's like an awkward thing for their, for their faces. Can't shame them like that. Uh, can't do them like that, but I like this song. I, 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 the confusion primarily stems from the fact that a song like this is normally not at the song I type. I kind of I like, but I, it's actually really catchy. Come and that the in the the change up the just dream like portion of the song. I actually like that too. I hate, I hate these nails though. Good lord. I want to see the change of part. I feel like every time she, I'm pretty sure this girl's Jiu, but every time she came in center, like including other songs of the past, and I don't remember which ones, when it's her time, her dancing becomes more exaggerated and more intense and it sticks out a lot, actually. The princess not me. Uri uri da. Unguro boro jumping. Whoa. Zero girl money make it. Break up and change up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm done. Uh, I need to move on. Otherwise, I'm going to stay here forever on the song. Sonyar. Okay. I wasn't expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, so I should stop saying I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting anything. Uh, but it definitely was a nice change up. I'll, I'll, I'll rate the three songs at the end. I'm going to just go keep moving. This is on 4K. Don't change from 4K. Run for Roses is the next one. It's called it's the performance video. Um, yeah, let's, let's just see how that goes. We're alive cause we are not alone Hand to hand you know we won't let go of Run for roses oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you fight back the rappers are singing. That's cool. I may have heard the song like while you know I was in Korea without knowing. Oh, 
This bridge is Is JYP smoking? <laughs> uh, what? Cannot compute. Okay, start over. Listen to the song again. We're alive because we are not alone. Is this Bay? Yeah. Just really grabbing my attention this so far with these two songs. Close, don't lose it. Jesus, thank you, eh? Only in the bang, I swear, thank you, 
say it just kind of occurred to me that Lily, Hewan, he and Soyun having three vocalists of that caliber in one group is I think a first. I'm probably wrong but they have really three potentially main vocalists for other groups in one group and that's pretty cool uh you could hear the dynamics and the uh the range that their music can have because of those three but also it makes me want wish i could hear more of them stand out a little more right lily kind of gets to do the the runs and such and all that stuff but uh so they're they're strong vocalists and um bay is kind of like the like the, the middle but she's got the lower register that I... She sounded great when the song started. We're alive cause we are not alone Hand to hand you know we won't let go of Alright, so... This song doesn't quite have the catchy feel Sonya has, but it's got a nice feeling to the song but I, it's not grabbing me as much as Sonyar did if i had to put them relatively to each other um but one second here sorry about that had to take care of something um another song with changes is what i'm and mix i'm guessing it's a mixing of songs right maybe not great um but i definitely think Sonyar is a little better of a song, if I had for my personal tastes, of course. I'll, again, I'll rate, do some rankings or ratings later. So I'm gonna start with the the next one is the music video for Dash, which came out yesterday. Um, yesterday is the fifteenth, so this came out just yesterday. So let's, 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 Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Run the dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Run the dash. Sorry, I'm trying to fix audio. Dash. Audio settings a little bit. Dash, I want to dash. I want to run it. Run the dash. I want to dash. I want to run it. Run the dash. I want to dash. I want to. It's 4K, but it doesn't look 4K. Weird. Run it, run it, run it, dash. You can't feel that way. Ooh, there's a little funky bass in the background. I've, I've never heard bass sing like that. Well, maybe I have, but I don't remember. I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, 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 dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, Change of scenery. 
What is it about pain that's trying me so much? That was cool. Just slow it down like That was a short ass song. Whoa. JYP calls himself the Asian soul now. I love how the, the letters are piling up. That's pretty cool. Dash. What's with the pixelated letters? Uh, they did that on the other song. What's that song that does the change up like that as well? Hey, it's been so long since I've heard the song. Uh, but it had that feel when they did the, when they did do the change up. I'm gonna listen to the watch the radio the MV again. Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Run the dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Run the dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash. You can't be reckless. The bomb's gone to roll out. I like the fact that the stack vocals in this part. I like this part of the song too. And then here we go. I 
dash. I wanna dash. I wanna run it. Cute then then smile. Interesting how the change up is right at the end of the song. Um, I don't know if this is going to be their title track. I think it's the most title track like sounding song. Although Sonyare is pretty pretty cool. Um, I was gonna say earlier. I think, and I don't know if this is a, the right term to use on songs, but I think. Dash is a very cleverly clever. It's a very clever song. It's very cleverly written. I don't know if cleverly is a word. It's got a lot of. It's got sass and humor to the song, like the song itself, the slow down, the change in instrumentation, and then the the change up and the go back to my own pace, uh, and then it goes back to the original beat. It, 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 there's there's like um. Yeah, it, it, I think clever is the right term for the song in terms of like how I want to describe it. Uh, I think Sonare is more catchier. The, the chorus for Sonare is really catchy, but Dash is probably got the more mass appeal sound to it. I'm not sure. This is either their performance video. I think this is the last one I'm going to do for this video. This is the last available content, actually. Dash, I want to dash, I want to run it. Run it. I wanna dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it. Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash. You can't be that way. The pop stars are like that bass on this song too. Sorry, I don't mean to pause and interrupt. I feel like for some reason they I feel like there's a little bit of a similarity looks wise. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, it just I don't know. I just it, it just slightly reminded me of a uh, of a, another person. You got the dream catcher. I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, uh, run it, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash. Ooh, ooh, speed up to the max. Ooh, 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 she's got a bit of fast. Ooh, 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 go, go, what the way? Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it. I'm saying the yaps, I need them, be one of I like this choreography too. It's really nice. I wanna dash. I wanna run it. 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 I wanna I just wanna continue my pace. Dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it, dash. Uh -huh. I wanna run some more. I wanna run it, run it, dash, I wanna dash, I wanna run it, run it. Cool.
processing the song a little bit. It's the third listen I had. Second listen? Third listen? Second? Third? Whatever it was. Um... Hmm. I want to listen to this song again now. Sognare. What's this? I forgot how epic the song is when at the start. I am good in the dream car, to get burgundy out in hometown. Then the lot would be your blood type, and some grab it kind of our life. So that the shooting third grade, to the boss, and I'm about to go on by and there. Oh, you're my time, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to stop it. And we don't touch the job. Kyujin's got such a unique tone to her voice. I like Edward's voice actually a lot. I like the bass of the song, I think. On the chorus especially. I think this is the better song. I think this is Edvix's best song yet, from what, the ones that I've heard so far.
No, 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 bypass. I put my new I just go straight. Hey, Peter up the bomb passes. I'm an egg, but we got my name. You want to jump the princess, not me. Uri, Uri, da, Unguru, Guru, jumping. Whoa, Sit on girl, money, make it. Break it and change it. is just really well tastefully done i don't know what it is do they have any other content on this song so anything else performance video they have a performance video and they have a the studio just got a little longer guys i'm sorry i didn't know this these videos existed Watching how others do it as well. 
Like everyone moves a little differently, right? So I'm just watching how other people move it. I, I'm actually just noticing Jiu's movements are always more exaggerated, which is really cool. Interesting song. <laughs> it really is an interesting song. I saw a dance practice. Oh, there's even a performance of it. I took this all wrong, guys. I thought this was like, I didn't do enough research. Here I am. Look at the way everyone moves, look at the way Jiu moves on this part of the song. Like, it just extenuates? It shows just how more movement Jiu has, even though it's the same move with everyone. Which is cool. I'm pointing it out because I like that. You know what's crazy? Is they're not even breathing that hard. And then they are, but not as hard as other times I've heard them do these types of things. That was very impressive.
impressive. Very impressive. So quiet. This mix. I'm noticing the trend to wear the outfits from the music video nowadays for the performance, first performance, the comeback performance. Love it. Is there more stuff? Ah, uh, I was thinking about this and they have it. Yes. I love Relay Dances, you didn't know. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, I'm 
Passion fruit? One hundred and eight angles. The heck is this? It's a lot of angles already. Oh my god, stop. I should have done a sonyare. Only the action. Since there's a lot of content here. Outfits they had on for the uh, relay dance, right? would have a hell of a time editing. I like that, though. That's pretty cool. There's so much content. Wow. 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 저희도 인사드려 볼까요? 둘, 셋. 안녕하세요. 엠믹스입니다. 부탁드립니다. 네, 저희 엠믹스의 미니 2집 FE304 브레이크의 수록곡이죠. Run for Roses. FE304 Iron Is it Iron? FE is uh, FE is iron, right? And then 304 is the number for a certain kind of steel. 304 stainless steel. Is that what it is? Is that what they mean? What do they mean? Yeah, it's kind of a country. Especially, our Daisy's Young K. 선배님께서 작사에 도움을 주셨습니다. Wow! 
그런데 엔믹스와 이츠 라이브가 아주 깊은 인연이 있잖아요. 어, 맞아요. 네. 그래서 오직 이츠 라이브에서만 만나보실 수 있는 스페셜한 무대를 준비했습니다. 와우. 와우. 예. 네, 그럼 바로 지금 테이식스 영케이 선배님과 엔믹스가 함께하는 런프로즈스 무대 지금 만나러 가보실까요? It's live! 와! <웃음> 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 I like Young K by the way from Day 6. He's got a very, very... From the little bits I heard, he's got a very... What's the word? Oh, versatile voice? What's the word? Bum, 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 bum. Kind of curious what this rendition with Young K in it's gonna sound like. We are alive because we are not alone. Hand to hand, you know, we won't let go. Run for roses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, 
이루 말하지 아니 아니 할수 없습니다. 아 너무 기대돼요. Special surprise. So my my two cents are I think it this is one of the better. It's one of the better. Composed. <laughs> it's one of the more better composed versions of its lives uh, band. Uh, I think the song actually sounds great live, band wise. I think the song for me personally just doesn't quite hit like melodically. It's supposed to be more of a melodically driven song compared to Sonyare and um, Dash, but it doesn't quite do it for me. The, the melody is kind of boring in my opinion. That's me personally. Uh, for those that are new to my channel or are unfamiliar with my preferences and such, I do prefer melodically driven songs, although Sonyare is a not very melodically driven song, at least chorus-wise. <laughs> he's surrounded by a bunch of kids basically, right? Because he's been he's late twenties and these girl a lot of these girls are probably still teens. <laughs> Okay, so I liked the rendition. I don't like the song that much, just in general. So it's kind of a it's got an uphill battle to get through. So FE three hundred four is that really iron steel? Is that what it means? Oh, Yana came out with something. Cool. I don't even know if I've listened to cool. I definitely didn't listen to Party O'Clock. <laughs> oh, oh, was that only one year ago? Jeez. Or already one year ago, I should say. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Lower the volume and let's talk over it a little bit. I definitely like Sonyare way more than any other Enmix song I've heard up to this point. Actually, it's probably, in my opinion, their best song that I've heard thus far. Obviously, I haven't listened to all the songs. I missed Party O'Clock. I missed another comeback, I believe. And I haven't listened to any other B-sides, I'm fairly certain. But... But, uh... I think Sonyare is a really, really good song. I think Dash is a, like I said, clever song. It's a very competent song, but it's not my favorite from the three. And as you could tell, Run For Roses is my least favorite from these three songs. <laughs> this is really catchy, actually. But that dance practice... Oh. I like this. I'm such a sucker for these like bubblegummy sounds as well, though. So, I will give Run for Roses personally like a 7 out of 10. It's okay. I, I'm not gonna listen to that. It's not going in my playlist. I'm gonna give Dash like an 8.5 out of 10. It's not gonna make playlists for me, for my personal playlist, but I respect the song and it's actually, I'm not gonna skip it if it ever comes up randomly. So Nyare, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I like the song a lot, actually. It took me a little bit, um, but I'm already addicted to the Sonyare part. The chorus is way catchier than it, it has any right to be. And that change up is really catchy as well. I don't mind the catch change ups if it's good. Eh, 
I'll take that back. If, it, if it's too drastic, a lot of times I don't like change ups, and at least Admix announces their chain route change ups. So I guess that helps. I don't know. There's not another song that sounds like Sunyare. It sounds so simple, but there's actually a lot of complexity to the song. And I'm not a musician to be able to de decipher all, all that, but I'm pretty sure there's other channels, other people on YouTube that are way more musically inclined than I am. I can only speak for songs that I'm like, hey, I like the song, or hey, I don't like the song, right? I'm a month late for Sonyare, but I think this is a great song. I like that song a lot. I was way, 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 way exceeded my expectations. Um, Admix has historically been a, I'm nervous for them. I see the talent, but I don't think I like the, I'm not the demographic they're aiming for musically. Um, so I was kind of, I came in here, I was like, you know, my, my community, for the most part, are, a lot of them, you guys follow me because, or, or hang out with me, I should say, uh, in Discord, because uh, we must have some alignment somewhere musically right and i think several of the people that i've i've noticed i like to i tend to agree with more than others said they liked this end mix comeback and i was like oh okay so I, I i had that my expectations were higher than probably what i normally would have had if i came into this reaction without seeing those comments or that reception from from people that i knew uh but now that i see it i'm like okay I like that. It, it it's actually really, really, um, it's really, really, really catchy. Really, really well produced. Really well done. Um, vocally, they sound great. The state. I think previously Ginny was about to become my bias. She was like this close to become my bias before she departed. I think that was for Dice. And then um, she was really. St she stood out to me a lot. And then, but, but Lily has always stood out for me, and I, but she's never, I never declared her, like, bias, as far as I recall. I think Bay might be biased. She's getting very close. If there's another comeback or another, con if she continues to do what she's doing, she's gonna, she's pro probably gonna be biased for me. Um... There's so much talent right now in K-pop. It's not like, it's definitely not like first gen or even second gen where, you know, groups have, like if it's a group of five, uh, one person, maybe two are really good singers. One or two of them are really good dancers and one or two of them are really good looking, right? So that's like the composition for the five. Um, I feel like this new age of K-pop, as it's grown more popular, as um, more exposure has come to K-pop, the, the talent pool has grown substantially. Right? People are. It's been for it's been for decades now, probably for two decades now. But um, they're looking for talent all over the globe. Although they have been, and I think the, within the last you know five ten years, they've kind of scratched that you need to be Korean. To, to do it, I mean, they've always had Chinese and uh, Japanese people in K-pop before, but it seems to be way more predominant now. And now you see uh, uh, Thai, Thailand um, members uh, as well. I'm trying to think if there's any other ethnicities I can't think of, but you know I'm getting at, right? It's just become the talent pool as you now you have more people that want to be a K-pop idol, um, so the talent pool's just gotten bigger, and now they could be more selective, um, and their tra training's gotten better. So what I'm saying all that for is, with all that said, Nmix is one half Australian, half Korean. The others are all Korean, I, I believe. Um, 
what I wanted to say was, although Jiu and Q, it's, it's Qjin, right? I'm, I'm sorry if I'm messing her name up. I'm pretty sure it's Qjin. Qjin. Yeah. So Qjin and Jiu, although rappers, are vocalists as well. Um, English name is Sally. What the heck? But I feel like everyone can sing. I'm pretty sure if Heiwan needs to rap, she could rap. I'm pretty sure if Lily needs to rap, if she remember remember the lyrics and such, she would rap, she would be able to rap. I'm pretty sure Bay could rap. Um, I'm pretty sure Soyun could rap. I'm pretty sure they could all sing. Although, like I said, probably Soyun, Lily, and Heiwan are the strongest vocalists, but Bay and Jiu and Kyujin have very nice tones to their voice. So what I'm getting at is this is a real a talent packed group. And Ginny was also really talented before she left. Um she's still talented even though she left, I should say, but she was also a very talented member before leaving. Uh so it's 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 I was curious to see how such a talented group of individuals can win me over because they were not with their previous con uh, concepts or songs, right? So, so consider me one over with Sonar, Sonare. Um, I, they sounded great. The songs sounded great. The production, I think, sounded more. I don't want to say toned down because it's not what it is, but I feel like they've calmed themselves down a little bit and they've kind of selected what uh, what kind of change-ups make sense, what kind of sounds make sense, what kind of things they want to do with uh, and mix as in them, as in the production team and the label and even the members themselves, right? They kind of understand, I think they're starting to really hone in to what NMix is supposed to be. Um, and I think Sonyare is like, is like a really, really good example of song that's really well written it's so it's it, it, it's each element it's really simple i feel like um but there's the change up there's the vocal layering there's the 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 way the vocals change the ooh like that da 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 i'm just checking Checking to see who has the E and the I, and if that matches what I believe them to be. Um, yeah, I was going to say, Hewan seems like an introvert. Lily seems like an introvert. And I'm sorry, extrovert. And says there. Um, Salyun looks like an introvert. Pei looks like, I thought she was an introvert, but she's, she's an E. Um, Jiu looks like an extrovert. Uh, introvert, sorry. I'm getting my, my people mixed up. And Kyujin looks like an extrovert. So it's like a mixed bet. Mix Rich blend of people. Um, I think Pei is my favorite member of NMix at the moment. This is K profiles, by the way. Yikes! I didn't realize Ginny was the favorite member before she left. Like, oh, by a lot, actually. Anyways, um, to wrap it up. So now is a 10 out of 10. I'm I'm sorry it took so long to get there, but I left for Korea a month ago. Um, and I was already behind. I had a pre-backlog, so it was even before then that I was recording things. So oh, with that said, I'm curious, what do you guys think of Sonyare Run for You? Run for Roses, <laughs> Run for You, Dash, and all other songs in this album. Uh, is there a song that you like? Do you like Son Sonyare as much as I do? I don't think it won any awards or anything, but it. I feel like it could have, although there was this this November, October, November, December apparently was an incredibly like, comeback heavy uh, few months here in K-pop, so I, I, I'm thinking, you know, they probably uh, it's hard already, right? To stick out from that kind of crowd. Um, I think they, they so Nyare is, is making my playlist. I like it. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing more from them now that I've that, now that they've caught my attention especially uh now up for some channel updates I'm going to ease my way back into recording although I wanted to get one going yesterday as well I'm incredibly jet lagged though and I, it's affecting my work right now I'm back to work as well but I'm jet lagged I can't sleep when I want to sleep and I involuntarily fall asleep when I don't want to be sleeping um, just because of how tired I am and I, ha I have no real I'm having a hard time willing myself to stay awake or falling asleep and waking up in a timely manner so I'm in a weird place um, I left work early a little early today so I, and I just got back home I was really sleepy on my way back while driving which is dangerous uh, and when I got back home I just sat on the couch and I just fell asleep for three hours or something like that and I was hoping it would be like a 30 minute nap so I could stay awake until the night time and then sleep but it didn't it wasn't it was not happening <laughs> the body has its mind of its own uh so until I get into a better biorhythm a, a better homeostasis better um schedule I will be sporadically recording um But with that said, let me know what you guys want to see next for me. Of course, Dreamcatcher will always be around. Uh, on my list of things I want to get to, I need to get to Espa. I need to get to Itzy. Um, I need to get to... Stuff. Oh, Kiss of Life. People have been talking about Kiss of Life. Um, they've, they, were, they impressed me with their debut. Um, XG has released a few things. I need to get to them as well. Uh, and stuff. I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh, ATs. You know, I I miss their crazy form or something. I haven't. I try my best to avoid listening to that song while I was in Korea. So yeah, a lot to get to. So little time. Um. In case you're wondering, my daughter is very, very healthy. She's she's very, very adorable. Um, her laugh is amazingly cute. Uh, basically, she's taken my heart. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's. Anyways, I don't know if it's because it's my second child or if it's because it's, she's a daughter. Or but there's a little difference between my son and daughter. And I hear from people that father and daughter, especially when the daughter's born, there's something special about it. Um, and I was like, ah, eh, whatever, right? I mean, the kid's a kid. It's my kid. I love them all the same. Uh, but there's a little... She's taken my heart. Um, I love, I love, I love my, my son as well. But man, this daughter is really cute. My daughter's really cute. Um, obviously, there's, there's um, a wool over my eyes. I, just, I think the English phrasing, but or konkakji in Korean. Um, konkakji is like the it literally translates to like the outer layer of a bean and those are on my eyes making me blind and seeing I'm just it's a saying just to say that I'm blinded um, from the actual truth uh, in a in a way that makes it so that I like something more so if I like the honeymoon phase you would also use in a relationship like right when they get going and they're in love that's konkakji as well um, you know, everything they do is pretty beautiful, adorable to you in your eyes. That's what it means. Um, I'm exhausted now, so I'm going to stop. If you, I would love to hear your comments on the songs, uh, especially Sonyare um, amongst others, but just kind of curious what your thoughts are. Uh, so comment down below. What do you want to see next from me as well? Uh, like the video helps the algorithms up subscribe if you want to see more from me i have a patreon uh down in the link below uh it's the best place to support me directly if you cho choose and it's also the place where you can make direct recommendations to what i'm doing right for reactions which if there's something specific you want to see from me uh that's where you do need to do the request because the comments i'll get a lot of requests as well i i've i have not been able to keep up with all requests but it's hard to ignore someone that 
request something on Patreon. So if you're interested in something, watch, having me watch something very specific, you should, that's where you need to do it. Um, I may try and squeeze in some live streams here and there, uh, but it's 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 such a energy drainer. <laughs> I, as much as I like doing live streams, um, it, it, it's actually a huge energy drain to do it. Um, but I might try to do one or two in the next couple weeks here. Um, yeah, so I did the like, comment, subscribe. I did the Patreon. Oh, I have Discord server. Come join us in the Discord server if you're so interested. I would be love to have more people hang out with us. Um, yeah. Can't think of what else I usually say at the end of the videos. So with that said, have a great day. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Be safe, take care of yourselves. Many hearts to you, as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.